Today we're going to take a look at the procedure for a cargo fire. We're leveling at 24,000 feet when suddenly the fire warning light illuminates and the fire bell rings. The first step is stating who was flying the airplane, so there's no confusion as to who was looking after the airplane while the other pilot troubleshoots the issue. This is done by the pilot flying stating, My aircraft. The issue is identified, and the checklist called for. In this case, you can see the forward cargo compartment light is illuminated on the cargo fire panel. Cargo fire checklist. Once the issue is identified, the fire warning light and bell can be turned off. Are there any memory items associated with a cargo fire? There aren't. Next, the quick reference card is scanned for the checklist, where applicable. Then we look in the quick reference handbook, known as QRH. The checklist can be found in various different ways, in the indexes at the front of the QRH, so whether you look up the text on the button, the fire warning, or simply cargo fire, you can quickly find the checklist. To confirm the selected checklist is the right one, the pilot monitoring reads the title and condition to the pilot flying, seeking input if it is the correct procedure to run. Cargo fire checklist. Fire is detected in the related cargo compartment. Do you agree? When reading the title and description, don't just read it, make it's understood to be a question. I agree. 1. Cargo fire arm switch affected compartment. That's forward. Confirm? Both pilots must confirm the correct switch is about to be armed. Confirm. Push. Verify armed. Notice the cargo fire panel has two arm switches, enabling the choice of which cargo compartment to use the fire extinguisher in, either forward or aft. The red FWD indicates fire is detected in the forward cargo compartment. It's armed. 2. Cargo fire discharge switch. Push and hold for one second. Note. Discharge light may need up to 30 seconds to illuminate. Three. Recirc fan switches both. Off. They're off. Four. Pack switches both. High. They're set to high. Five. Plan to land at the nearest suitable airport. This is important. Make sure the pilot flying heard it. Got it. To quickly find the nearest suitable airport, go to the route page of the FMC. Then click on L6 for alternate destination. Then R6 for nearest airports. The choices include Grand Rapids, which is 29 miles away. Cargo fire checklist complete, except deferred items. Would you like those now? We'll come back to those, let's get the weather for Grand Rapids, and divert there if suitable. An emergency is declared, and the intention to divert to Grand Rapids made. The flight attendants are made aware and can prepare the cabin. The deferred items are the descent, approach, and landing checklists. There's a warning to inform ground personnel not to open any cargo door until all passengers and crew have exited the airplane and firefighting equipment is nearby. Make sure everyone is aware by radio. We hope you enjoyed our look at the cargo fire non-normal checklist. Please comment below, click like if you enjoyed, and if not already, please consider subscribing. Thank you.